Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Christopher Terrence Jones. How are you doing? Happy Wednesday. Happy, what they say, hump day. You know, they're doing a bunch of commercials from uh, Geico. With the, uh, what the thing that was? The, the camel. And he goes, what's today? What's today? It's today. What's today? What day is it? What day is it? Mike, 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 Mike. Y'all know that. Oh, some of y'all might be too young to remember those commercials. Oh, well. Let's get right into our normal. Make sure you subscribe. Follow. Comment. I remember in the comment section, be nice. Everybody's opinion is not the same. This is just my opinion on stuff. My open commentary. So we're all here for dialogue. So let's not disrespect anybody else. I want to talk about, once you get through clicking the subscribe button and following, let's talk about 21 Savage. Um, I read a little bit up on the story, and I love to hear your comments and what you think about it. But basically, 21 Savage was arrested by ICE. Y'all know that's the thing that is being talked about in Donald Trump's presidency right now that everybody says they don't understand why we still have ICE. But ICE really takes away people who are not from here and puts them into detainment camps. And it's real brutal. It's real bad. So 21 Savage is a rapper out of Atlanta who was born in the UK. And he came here at the age of seven, according to his lawyers. And he overstayed his visa, which has expired, and that means when it expires, you should go back to where you are from. But he came here as a child, so he was seven. So here's the, the, the things that I say that we should talk about. The parents brought him here. He was seven. And at seven, when it expired, and if he had went back home, at eight when or some excuse so at eight if he's been here a year at eight when it expires excuse me does he just go back to the uk by himself so who's the blame here i checked out his net worth he according to the when i googled it says he's worth eight million dollars and so my question is you knew that you were not a u.s citizen because in order to open a bank account and do all of these things, you have to show forms of identity. And your forms of identity are British. Because you can't get a social security card. Or maybe you can get a social security card. You guys tell me. Can you get a social security card and you are not from here? I don't know. But this is what I'm saying. He is a rapper who's worth $8 million. Why didn't you, even if you didn't do it when you didn't have the money, why now that you have the money, why didn't you take care of your legal situation? Why didn't you work on focus on getting that done when this president is all about the Hoarding people and getting people out, it makes you fall into that. And yes, people are going to have sympathy because they become your friends, they become your colleagues, they become your pals. So yes, they are going to want to feel sympathy for you and they're going to want to support you. But as an adult and as a black man, what did you do to make sure you wouldn't be in this situation? So now they're saying that he has a application in to get citizenship. Why wasn't that done when you first started recording, when you got your, your deals going? Because you got a lawyer then, you got a publicist, you got all of these things. Why didn't you do it then? And so he's 26 years old. He's been here since he was seven. He's 26. So he was arrested. He was held in ICE for 10 days in a detainment camp. 10 days, that's a long time. And he was released on a $100,000 bond. And officials said he is a, 
British national who entered, like I said, the U.S. legally in 2005, but overstayed his visa, which expired a year later. So that was 2006. So why have you not taken care of the steps as a man to make sure that you could stay here legally? Why didn't you do that? You were given several chances. You guys, if y'all know us something I don't know, tell me. Put it in the comments section because we don't all know everything. Somebody else may know something else. And then now he's being defiant. I'm not leaving with Atlanta without a fight. We gonna fight all the way to the last day. Even if that mean I sit in jail for 10 years. This is what he said. I don't understand. You had ample time to take care of business and you chose not to. And when you saw that this dumb butt was running for president, and that was the thing that he kept saying was important illegal immigrants, illegal immigrants, did you forget that you're one and have been one? Did you just get here and get comfortable and it's like, oh, I'm from here? No, you were an illegal immigrant. So you guys, this is what I'll see. He said this as well, and it, it kind of, I, I don't, it, to me, it, it's not true. My situation is important because I represent poor black Americans and I represent poor immigrant Americans. You got to think about all the millions of people that ain't 21 Savage that's in 21 Savage shoes, he said. Okay, so if you represent poor black Americans, you can't represent them when your net worth is eight million because um if they're poor their net worth is not eight million and if you want to represent them you should have taken care of business way before now and from what i'm understanding he missed the grammys where he won a grammy award because he was in the entertainment center and so, like I said, there's people who are supporting him. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. You can always email me at Mr. Chris T. Jones and give me your question. If you'd like to talk about it, we could do another video about it. Um, but this is it. Let's just be real. He was here. Should not he have gone and taken care of business? Or should he just continue to have stayed here like he did and be an illegal immigrant? What do you think? Make sure you share this video, subscribe, follow, comment, all that good stuff. You can hit me on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Chris T. Jones. And that's where Facebook is where you'll also find the article that I talk about in the Christopher Terrence Jones page. Make sure you click like, all that good stuff. Love you guys. Have a great day.